All right, morning everyone. So today Aaron and I are headed to New York for the Leader H2O dealer meeting. But I've got a few hours this morning that I can get a couple projects done because if I don't start getting things checked off this list, I'm never gonna get done. I'm not gonna be ready for maple season. Um, got a hydraulic third link that I'm adding to the tractor. I'm gonna do that first. Then I've got a lateral down, down in back of the barn. And then I need to get that ladder that's across the street um, I'm gonna get at least the first half of that up. Um, I probably won't have time to get the whole thing today, but I wanna get that done because these are kind of the easy buttons that I can get done at home um, rather than headed to the woods. Cause once I go to the woods, I gotta do that, um, get that big piece up. So um, get the tractor up to the house and then we'll get the third link on. <laughs> So hydraulic third link, um, third link's the top one. You've got the lower two arms of your three point. This is the top link. Um, I'm gonna swap that out and make it hydraulic. That way I can like tilt my snow blower front and back. Um, really you can kind of adjust a lot of things with it, including like the winch if I wanted to dig harder um, when I'm pulling something like that. But it's one of those that it's really for the snow blower because when I come up the hill from the sugar house up to the driveway, it stays level and it digs in harder rather than leaning back and having the shoes ride. So this way I can lean it back a little bit. It'll ride up the hills and it won't dig in and throw the gravel on the lawn. So I get to clean that up in the spring because that's really not my favorite thing to do. Um, so I got that one. So we'll get this thing out and get going on it. First thing I'm going to do is get the old one off. So this third link I got off Amazon, um, but it's from Spare Parts Holland. Um, it's got the valve in it, so if there's no pressure against it, then it, it locks it in place so it can't um, slack down or up, depending on what you're doing. Uh, it's one that was recommended to me. I don't know, it looks like it might be too big. I, I can't tell, but we'll find out. So of course it doesn't fit. That's awesome. It won't fit in there, but it fits on this one down here. So I guess I'm gonna take one end and put the grinder to it and knock a little bit off it. All right, so I ground that down. It, it probably not the best thing to do, but I mean, what do you what do you do? Because at the same time, it I mean, these are kind of built for every tractor, so I had to modify it. Um, now it's just a matter of getting the hoses hooked up. Yeah, actually, I might be able to. Probably can't pull it out yet, but I got to get these hoses put on now. I think these two hoses are the same length, but I better check just to make sure. Yep, pretty close. So now, these thread in, but you take, and there's crush washers. Crap. There's crush washers, and one of those brass washers goes on either side of it. So it's got to go like that. 
and then in. Before I hook them up, I need to remember which one has detent though. Top one. So I'm not gonna put it on that one, I'll put it on the bottom one. So let's see if they're gonna reach though before I fill it with fluid and do everything else. Oh boy, that's close. I don't even know if they're the right fittings anyway. Not really a monster fan of that. That one is pretty tight, but I might be able to make some space here. I do this. Nope, let us stay on the top. That. That is not long enough. Crap. So these hoses are not long enough by about four to six inches. And I don't really want to go to town to go to the hydraulic shop because I've got to go all the way to Westbrook to do that. And that's just a bunch of time that I don't want to waste right now when I could get other things done. So I'm going to put the regular link back on and then I'll, I guess I'll fight with this next week because I'm not doing it right now. So tractor's not a thing today. We'll finish that project another day but now I'm gonna go down and get my tubing tool and fix that piece of pipe that's down I'm not 100% sure what I'm getting injured down here I just I know I got pipe down I just don't know what so I got my tubing tool some splices and some cutters and this shouldn't take that long looks like it. It's just a branch that come down and popped off the end hook. Add it a little way. Yeah, I think that's it. I think it just popped it off the tree. That was easy. That was just a two second fix without even needing tools. So that was back up. Now I'll get my stuff together, go across the road, see if I can get that up. This one, I am going to measure it and set the pitch of the laser just because I know I'm going to be up in the air, um, kind of coming up out of a hole. Uh, so I'm going to try and do it and get it just about where it needs to be so I don't have it higher than I need to. So here's what I got on the other side of the road. There's my line that jumps the road here. Ladder, line comes out, but this is a new house that just went in here. Um, and I've got my line over there. And that one, there was a ladder there, it went up and then came down here to the road. So now I've just got to jump this driveway, which not a big deal. I just got to get set up for it. So I've got, that's an oak. And it's not a huge one, but it, this isn't a huge line here either. So I'm going to hook onto this oak, use this, and shoot it down to where that ladder is there. But I just want to make sure I've got enough pitch, so I'm just going to set the laser up, measure this off. I, it's probably 80 foot. Um, get my pitch. I may go a little bit more just because of making this work, but then get this line hooked up on here.
I measured this off. It's like 77 feet. So that's pretty close with an 80 foot guess. And then to do that, I need 20 inches of pitch to do uh, the quarter inch a foot. So what I did is I measured up there, then I had to flip it, ran the laser upside down. Well, I ran the target upside down on the rod. Is gonna work now? I don't know. So it's right, it's right there at the handle. I just can't reach up high enough. So I'm gonna have to get the ladder because it's really at the top of the rod up there. Which isn't a big deal because I can kind of set it I can get it all tied on right here and then I can just slide it up the tree. So I may not even need the ladder, but I gotta get all this pipe here taken apart, get the ties off it, get the wire off it so that I can get it set up here. I'm so glad I'm not a ways away from the house today because I can't find nothing to get anything done with. I had to go hunting for the ladder. I couldn't find that. Then I had to go hunting for my ratchet handle to be able to tighten this wire up. And I still don't know where that is, which is awesome. And then I had to hunt for the chalk this morning. It's just been a day of trying to get everything together. So I'm ready to go to work and my ratchet handle I have no idea where that thing went, but I'm gonna get this thing put up, get it tightened up, and then see if we can get this one put back together. So after spending 10 minutes looking for my ratchet handle, get over here to realize that I run the Donaldson style ratchets, which I knew, and I could have used either channel locks or an adjustable wrench. So, yeah, I'm hitting dingers again this year already. I started tightening it up and the pipe started getting in the way so what I actually did was take and I pulled the pipe back up the wire because it's just a short piece so I could make that happen and then pretty well got it tensioned I'm going to turn the laser back on and then just make sure I went high enough I did go higher so we should be good All right, that's up. That's got a bunch more pitch on it. I like that better now um, because as I come across, I'm just going to tie into that and then this will drop right down and head across. So that's that's up. Now I'm just going to hook up these laterals and I'm just use those as my side ties because I think I've got enough tension here that it'll pull this thing over where it needs to be. There. No, that's pulling down too much. I'm gonna have to put the pipe in that one to let that one off a little bit because now that one's loose. So I'm gonna have to adjust that just as we change everything around. This is ready on this side, except for that little piece, which I'm gonna go do in a minute. But this side over here, I just kind of walked it. Um, the wire, they cut the tree down that it was tied to. So I've got to adjust it, but by the time all the fittings are in the way, I've got to get more wire and that's in storage with the, the wire spooler. So 
I think I'm gonna go get that. I probably won't get this set up today though. It'll be close, but I don't know. It's always a project when you're putting stuff back together compared to when you're setting up new. Got a little lunch. Um, crushed it as always, a bag of Doritos, the big bag, not the little bag. Um, finished off a Gatorade, some M&Ms, and some Nutty Bars. I didn't want to rush into a real healthy lunch today, but I think I did all right. Um, had to go over to the storage container, try and find my mainline spooler. Um, I did not find that. De definitely not, not, not getting a lot accomplished today, but I should be ready the next time because I'll know where everything is when I get ready to go to a project. But now I gotta go home and try and find that spooler. So this ought to be interesting trying to find that thing, but I don't have much time left. I gotta get ready to get on the road here shortly to head to New York. So we'll try and get something accomplished anyways. So I found my tubing spooler. That was in the four-wheeler shed, not really buried. I just didn't look close enough. And I still have no idea where that ratchet handle is. So I gotta find that one. But I got the one line across the street. That one's done. Now it's just a matter of going up over that driveway and finishing that lower piece. But I just ran out of time because I had to start getting everything ready so we can head to New York. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.